All right, hello there again, and welcome to another Ultimate Game Host video uh, tutorial, but I guess this is an introduction of new features as well for the control panel. Um, this is version 3.0, and uh, we're going to go over some new things that have been added. If you haven't watched the previous control panel video, you might want to do that first, just to get kind of a basic overview of what we're doing and how we're doing it, and how you can manage your server with us. But um, to go ahead and get started on here, I've logged into a demo account we have set up for the control panel. And I'm going to show you first the uh, couple of the new things we have here. We have some automatic management options that we've added um, right here. So we have automatically restart your server. It, um, this basically checks to make sure your server is up. And if it hasn't seen it up for a couple minutes, it will go ahead and try to force it to restart. So I'm going to go ahead and check that just for the purpose of the demo. Restart now enabled. Okay. We also have automatically patched for servers now too. So you can specify whether or not you want your server to be automatically patched after, after Valve releases an update for the games or there's an update for a game that's non-Valve. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Okay. So we're all set with that. And some new features here on the admin tab. You can now change your control panel password and your FTP password straight from the control panel. No more support requests needed for that. Um, makes it a lot easier. We also have sub-user management now, so you can create user accounts that will be able to get into the control panel and do things for your server. So if you have a clan member or something you want to give access to, you can do that. And we'll do a couple examples here. We'll we'll look at more information first. So there's a few different levels. I'm not going to read all of this to you because I don't want to bore you, but basically you can have a master account, an admin, or a user. The master is what I am now. You can't change or recreate that one other than changing the password. And the admin and the user are the sub-accounts that you can make. And they just have a, a bit of a different breakdown of permissions to kind of make it convenient to work with. So we'll go ahead and just add a user to the control panel here. We'll call this user1 and I'll just type in short password here and let's say we want to make them a user and OK and we can hit OK again the user's been added and now that user is created and capable of logging in and they would be able to use the control panel in a different way than the master account but still able to log in I'm gonna go ahead and clear that for now OK and for the purpose of this demo we also want to install source mod in order to do the next portion so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly load source mod up on this counter-strike source server I'll just put in a this doesn't really matter for the purposes of this so we'll just do apply on there and yes so we're gonna go ahead and install source mod now I might cut the video here and go to after the jump, depending how long it... Okay, so source mod's all done installing, so now I'm going to move on to the next uh, new feature we've added on, which is the extras tab over here. And I'll scroll down a bit. You can see we've added the ability here to install the clan site, the forum, and get HLStatsX CE all up and running for you and just finished up in just a short little bit. So um, you can install the client site with or without Joomla. We'll do it with just for this example. So let's go ahead and say let's get all these extras, the clan site, the forum, and HLStatsX. We'll hit apply there. And I can fill this out with an email address. We'll just do the support account. And we'll do I agree. The terms and conditions listed here are just right down here. Um, so you can read those. I, of course, agree to them. Do OK. And we'll wait for that to finish installing those three items for the, the website. It's not too bad of a wait. So we'll do OK. And we'll refresh the browser. go back to the extras tab and now we have these items are actually installed now and um, you can check and view your login information for the site so for the clan site we have the Joomla admin account username password shown as well as the uh, FTP information to manage that Joomla install so remembering this let's go take a look at that site and see if that's up so 
Here's the clan site with Joomla, all installed, ready to roll. We can, um, we can click on the administrator tab here and we can just log in just to show you. It's up and running and there it is, all ready to go. I'm going to close that and go back to the, uh, the panel. We've got the same thing for the PHPB forum. The admin and the password there. Do the forum. And the passwords are set based on your uh, Archon password you specified when you originally signed up. So it won't always be the number one. Um, so we can also go ahead and log in here and go to the administration panel here as well. You can see the, the forum, the Joomla all set up, ready to go. I'll show you one other thing we've added here to help control spam for our our users we've added the um, reCAPTCHA by default so whenever your boards installed you'll automatically get reCAPTCHA which is pretty decent at keeping keeping bots out from spam spamming your forums and the next thing is uh, HLStats XCE which will um, can do view information on here and we see the uh, the admin login we also see the lines that have been added to the server config so it's automatically updated the server to push the correct information out to the stats server. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And there's the demo is now in the list. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video for a second and ask someone to go ahead and join it to make sure the players are showing up and things are working properly. And I'll be right back shortly. Okay, so I've refreshed the page. We can see now that there is a player on the server and they've added some bots as well to the game kind of try it out, test it out, and then just refresh again. They've also changed the map to uh, CS Office as well. Um, but that's it for this uh, tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. If you have any questions, you know, contact us at the support email, and we'll get back to you. All right. Thank you for watching.